Alrighty. We have, uh, we have the last part of this. It's been a few days since I played this. So, I mean, life got in the way. I couldn't, uh, plus I had another video project that I wanted to do. So I couldn't, couldn't really focus time on this. Oh, there we go. You mean you just had to cross this little mud thing that we went all the way around for that? What? A mud is overflowing. So we gotta get up this elevator real quick. They were waiting to open up the sluice gate after we left. Just sounds to me like they're being lazy. I could have pressed a button over and over again. All right. Better hurry up there, buddy. Yeah. Made it, I guess. I suppose there's no going back now. Suppose there's oh oh okay. <laughs> I guess they're fine. Maybe this happens a lot. Oh, I can go back. Well, this... Well, the towns I was at before, but I thought the point was that they flooded that and I was stuck on the other side. You mean there's no boss battle there? I thought there was going to be a boss battle at the end of that. Okay, though.
Now you can eat it. That was not helpful at all. I guess I gotta pay him more. Yeah, they probably all should have known that by now. <clears throat> okay. A little anticlimactic to leave a, uh, a little anticlimactic to... Uh, you know what? We have a town here, and it's not the end of the map, so it feels like this might just be a town to explore. Yeah, can you give me any details there? You know, I do kind of like the aesthetic and design of the interiors of houses and stuff like that in this game compared to 3, but everything's a little bit too cramped for my taste. They're really making me use this rotating camera and for the most part, I should really just be able to maneuver around it without it. Unless I'm, like, looking for something particular. I don't want to have to go into every house. And then maneuver the camera around so, like, the fireplace or that that uh, balcony or mezzanine in there isn't going to be in my way. I don't think that was necessary, but sure. But if I had that weird little monster robot thing with me, I'd be able to headbutt these things into oblivion. So hold on. Let me go and do that real quick. What the hell is its name? I can't even remember its name. Yeah, you notice that too, huh?
But I can't change the... Oh, I don't need to go in the camp to do this, do I? I was thinking I had to... Um... I had to do this in camp like I did in 3. I could just do it in place. And I can even swap people out in battle, too. That's, uh... Or can I? I, I can't remember it. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been a couple of weeks since I played this game and I didn't spend much time with it before. I just couldn't, uh... I don't know, work has been keeping me all messed up. Plus there was other crap I had to do and... Okay, where's my weird robot? There we go! Better be something good down here. High ceiling, huh? Okay, so there's a treasure chest down here. How do I get... Such a low thing I gotta crawl over. And I can't manage it. So I gotta come at this from the other direction? Is that it? Okay, so that's gotta be it. I gotta come at it. Come down here from another building. And then I can... Jump down, I guess, and get that treasure chest. Even though Nina has wings and she can't just, you know, fly up a foot. <laughs> what? There was a trap here? Any other traps? Why do they trap... This place is weird. <laughs> hey, the mayor. What I really want is a shop so I can upgrade Ryu sort up. Oh, all right. <laughs> Bunch of paranoid assholes in this town. There's something to fight in there? What the hell is that? Okay, I don't know if I really need to throw magic at it, but... <laughs> oh! Think it's hard. Okay, so the magic actually was a good idea. I wonder if Nina's supposed to be more of a um, attack, uh, a black mage or a white mage, because she only really has the one, only really has the one magic attack. And given how high her intelligence is, it doesn't seem like it's doing as much damage as it should. So she's got much higher intelligence stat than either of these other two characters. See the damage there. 191. Comparative to... Oh, alright. 
74. That did less than I thought. Maybe I was wrong there. What does combo mean? I really should look up the, a manual for this game or something. Oh, the doghouse is gone. Oh, jeez, what? <laughs> Oh, all right. But perhaps. <laughs> Oh, so that's what CP does. Higher you CP, the the better. Um, higher you CP, the more you regain your AP while resting in the back. Ah, uh, no, no, I already read that one. This is actually why I don't like doing things like a blind playthrough very much because I don't know what's happening up oh, son of a bitch <laughs> all right oh look where I am though oh, didn't get me to that treasure chest though did it it's got to be another way of hey I'm in the mayor's house What? <laughs> All right. Tried getting it, the damn mayor's nowhere. There's no way down from here. Is this gotta be some other some other pathway down? Pain in the ass. Jeez, I'm supposed to memorize the damn way to get through this conversation? There's four options here. You know, if it weren't for the fact that it 
it rambles through four freaking lines before giving me the option to choose, it would be less annoying. Damn it, here we go again. Now I gotta listen to this stupid thing yapping. And then I gotta... Maybe there's... Some simpler way to figure out your way through... Ah, shit. I chose the wrong one now, so I gotta go through all this over again. Damn it, I did it again. What's wrong with me? Fuck, there's five options now? Okay, so you had to act like you didn't care. That's what you were supposed to do. But, I don't know, that wasn't all that clear to me. Not until after I had already gotten my way through. What chest? And of course, it's, it's a fucking trap, because this little dickhead is... Laughing. <sighs> All right, that was infuriating. It's 23 minutes in, and I was just fucking around, but I gotta go to the woods to find the mayor, and that's the next episode, huh?